My first love outside of my mama was definitely my pup sugar i talked about her all the time and i loved playing with her and going on adventures with her it was perfect in my grandeur stories of our adventures i would often leave out my cat scratch my all black male outdoor cat we didn't play much but when we did he held true to his name and would always scratch the shit out of my hand. But I thought it was fun, and he did too, I think. He would even bring us treats, like dead birds and mice. When Scratch passed away around the time that I was 13, I didn't have another cat for a long time, till I was 27, and I met Nachlin. See, she was a package deal. She came with her precious Harvey Dent, AKA Baby Girl, AKA Cookie, AKA Cook, and the rebellious young Oliver, AKA Ollie. I think I just assumed I was a dog person after Scratch. Everyone I knew had dogs. I always thought cats had no personality. They seemed moody, rude, and most of all, I didn't feel like they would love me like a dog would. But after meeting my new children, I have to admit I was wrong. So I thought it'd be fun to discuss what I now love about cats. But hey, I love dogs too. You're so cute, you're so cute. As I spent more time with Ollie and Cook, I started to Google so many cat questions and I learned so much about them, which helped me to appreciate who they are, how they love, and how they deserve to be loved. Let me tell you a little bit about them. Young Oliver is a curious orange tabby kitty whose absolute favorite thing in the world is kibbles. He won't eat anything else, literally. He loves to do zoomies at almost the same time every day. He will find the coziest of cozy places in any space and nap there as soon as his kibbles are gone. He hates his tail being messed with. And if you bother him too much, he will promptly ignore you with his back facing you. And most of all, he loves sleeping on your neck at night. He's adorable. Baby girl is a literal scaredy cat, but she loves attention from the ones that she trusts. On a warm day, she'll be sprawled on any ray of sunshine. Her favorite pastimes include making muffins on bellies and being brushed. She has the most unique sounds of affection and she will certainly be the first to leave any room at the sound of a loud noise. I love them both and though it annoys me that they are mostly Ollie, begs for kibbles. My heart warms when I know that they are fed and happy. So why do I love cats now more than ever? I've helped to raise a puppy, as well as taking care of many dogs in my life. I can't believe how low maintenance cats are. The litter box is obviously a lifesaver in that department. Cats are just so not needy in the way that dogs are. They don't bark. Eh, well, Ollie howls at random times, but it's usually not annoying. Life with them is just overall chill. Accidents rarely happen. They do happen, but rarely. I love it. I mentioned earlier that cats don't have personalities. I was wrong. They are certainly less transparent than dogs, but they most certainly do have a personality. It's so clear when I look at Ollie and Baby Girl. They're both so incredibly different. They have different annoyances, quirks, pastimes. It's interesting to notice these things. I think what best explains their personalities is how they eat. First, Ollie sprints to the food bowl, beating out anyone who was even attempting to get to the food bowl first. If Baby Girl tries to eat first, he he pushes her out the way like she doesn't exist. Though she is twice his size, baby girl will step back and watch him eat until he is full. She's so polite in that way. Then when he's done, she eats. She usually leaves a few kibbles left over, which Ollie promptly scoops up as soon as she walks away. Just like a little shit. I know this is not true with all cats or dogs, frankly, but I love a good cuddle sesh. It makes me sad when an animal isn't willing to cuddle. Baby girl will lay next to you all day long. She'll even lay on your belly, but she does not cuddle no matter what. Ollie, on the other hand, is the best cuddle buddy. Cats are so small and malleable, and when they do enjoy cuddling, they absolutely make the best cuddle partners. Ollie loves to squeeze right in between me and my girlfriend, or sit in our lap while we work, or across the neck, as I mentioned. It's the sweetest to hear and feel his little purrs as he snuggles up next to you. Cats just have a different kind of the same love as dogs. They show it differently, but it's just as joyful. They are relaxed, chill, beings for the most part just don't scare them which fits my personality quite well they may not wag their tail and jump up and down at the side of you which is one thing I love dogs for, but they miss you the same. They want your attention the same. They love you the same. If you're prepping for a cat or feel like you don't like cats, just open your heart to them 
and I have a feeling that they'll reciprocate. I honestly just wanted to tell someone that I love cats now, so thanks for watching. My name's Cole. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Yeah, I'm out. Every day I wake up with a vision Cooking in the kitchen, ain't no fucking in a mission Like yo, shaking up your city with my bitchin' Sorted in the building and the motherfucker fizzin' Like whoa, cold won't stop till you get that gold Cold won't stop till you sing my song